Howdy folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout T. Witty here. Last time, when we left off, we had successfully destroyed the military base. <clears throat> and the FEV vats that were down inside it. So, my, I, I'm level 15. I want to be level 21 before I head to the Cathedral of the Master and finish the game. So, there are two side quests we have not done yet. One is repeating, one is not. Um, one is exciting, one is not. So I'm going to do the repeating, not exciting one, one time first. We might end up doing it more than once in order to gain levels, but I suspect we'll only do it the one time because there are faster ways to gain levels. But we need to do the Crimson Caravan. So... Let me put my gun away before I forget. Let's head in here and check things out. I'm not paid to talk. Alright. Don't have to be a dick about it. That's a lot of chems. And ammo. That I really don't need. I have a feeling that dude's gonna give me quests, so let's explore the rest of the building first. Who the hell are you? If you want a job, you'll need to talk to Dimitri. I said to talk to my dad if you want a job, not me. Alright. So she's that guy's daughter. And, alright, and these are the rooms of the Maltese Falcon, so... That's it. Not much to the building. Let's go talk to Dimitri about a job. Hey there, how are you doing? The name's Dimitri. Dimitri Romara, head of the best damn caravan in the wastes. Are you looking for a job? Damn, you look strong. What's it to you? That's just what we're looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemy in two, seeing the fear in their eyes. Ah, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well, and we pay well. Oh, yes, we do. We've just had a few new openings, if you are interested. But of course you are, right? What's the pay? We pay 600 hub bucks a job. That's each way. Hell, people say we take all the dangerous routes, but I say they're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life, am I right? Of course I am. Hell, I think that's just what I'm looking for. Damn straight it is. Just go talk to Carrie in the next room. She'll let you know when the next caravan is leaving. Alright, thanks, Dimitri. Hi, Carrie. So that old bastard gave you the okay to work for us, eh? Well, you must have balls of steel. I'm impressed, but we'll see how you do. We leave only twice a month, on the 3rd and 17th. Can you handle that? We go to all the local hotspots, the Brotherhood of Steel, Junktown, Necropolis, and the Boneyard. And the pay? Our pay is the best, 600 scripts, and yes, that is for each way, but you don't have to do both. This is a pretty tough caravan ride, and you're almost guaranteed to run into some raiders, or worse. We'll have no sissies on my caravans, and you better have plenty of ammo. We leave on December 3rd. Are you interested? I think I'm interested in you. Well, you are interesting and very different from most people. Show me what you've got, tough guy. She leads you around a corner. On the way back, she slips you a few things. You get three chem packs. Well, you can last for quite a while. Ha! Nice! <laughs> we got Laid and we got Mentats, Buff Out, and Psycho. I don't really need those, but that's alright. I don't need this security card or this radio anymore either. In the interest of not losing track of them completely, I'm going to drop them in here. <clears throat> Velvet Elvis I'm holding on to. Because it's awesome. That's why. Don't judge me. I like Elvis, okay? Hey, Carrie, what else you got? Sure. Cool. The next one's going out on December 3rd. Come back then, and I'll put you on a caravan. As always, it pays 600 scripts. Okay. Alright, so... What day is it? December 3rd. Alright, so... I guess I'll just wait.
That's right, this is the main reason these quests are such a pain to repeat. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Done. Alright, it's December 3rd. Here we go. Ready to go? We're leaving today. Yep. Good. Like I said before, we pay 600 scripts. Which route did you want to take? Uh, if I'm going to the... If I'm going to the Glow... It doesn't really matter, but I guess I'll go to... I'll go to the Boneyard. Cool, it'll just take a few minutes to get the Psychos together. Mantises! Okay, and now what? Just go to the exit grid? I guess. Seems that way. Well, here we are. Here's your payment of 600 caps. He pulls out an old dog-eared money bag and gives you the money. You'll get another 600 caps if you return with us to the hub. We'll rest here for a while, but don't go for too long or the caravan will leave without you. How long before the caravan leaves? We usually leave two hours after arrival. There's nothing here we haven't seen before, though, so if you want to leave earlier, we're ready whenever you are. What well, can you tell me about the Boneyard? This part of the Boneyard is called a Ditem. The Boneyard is basically run by gangs. Kind of a rough area, so watch your step here. A Ditem is run by the Regulators. They're trying to hold this place together in light of all the gang wars. They're understandably suspicious of strangers, so if you haven't spoken to them yet, I suggest you do before you start wandering around. How long before the caravan leaves? Okay, let's head back to the hub. Nothing I want to see here either. A couple of ghouls. That's easy. Boom. Ghoul Raiders. Even. Okay, you made it. Here's your six hundred caps. If you want more if you want more work, just go talk to the boss again. I'd be more than happy to work with you again. I'll put in a good word for you with the boss. Take it easy. See ya. Alright. So that's how the caravan works. It's basically just two guaranteed combat encounters. But what I'm gonna do is head to the glow. For realsies this time, we're going all the way down. Need to pop a rat X. Crater, level one. 
I can go directly to level one. Amazing. All right. Let's use a rad X. What's my radiation resistance now? 94%. Let's take a second one. There we go. Alright. 100 rad resistance. That's the idea. Now I just need to watch the dealy bobber. Alright, let's go use that working computer. I think I can turn the elevators on. System. Primary power offline. Secondary power online. Power management. Power systems management. Primary power. Primary power management offline. Reinitialize primary power. Primary power management. Error, error, error. Primary system initialization failed. Diagnose. Failure. Generator level 6. Zero feed return. Inoperable. Service needed. Back. Emergency power. Emergency power management online. Disable emergency power. Oh, turned all the lights off. Now let's turn it back on. Enable emergency power. Alright, well, maybe I can just take the elevator. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, so the bomb hit at least down to level 2. You get a mild shock from the electric field on the door and take a point of damage. How do I get down there? I guess I need to disable emergency power after all. Then how will I move the elevator? That is the question. Oh, duh. No, I know what I need to do. I need to use my yellow key card. Duh. Ugh. My brain will work at some point, I promise. See, yellow pass key. I wish to use my yellow pass key on this elevator. Authorization granted. Now disarming electric field. There we go. Alright. Let's go down to level two. What have we here? Okay, the bomb got through to level three, but the crater's a lot smaller. Alright, same deal here. Yes, emergency power, no secondary. Traps. These robots are all hostile. Sentry bot killed. Killed. So I can kill the robots while they're disabled. Which is pretty neat. One thousand one hundred twenty five experience points, thank you very much. Assault rifle. Don't really care. Ruby. Onward. Explosive rocket. Frag grenades. 
leather armor. So there's the bomb hole. Not nearly so big here on level two. Come on, get in there. There you go. Bodies. Flamer fuel and I want to say a pulse grenade. There's a frag grenade. Dynamite plastic explosive. Don't care about any of that. Nothing in here. Search these last two rooms, I guess. There's a body. And there's the red pass key. I have little doubt. Tough radiated rat. I'm sure we'll need that red pass key for something or other. I wonder if I need it to enable access to level three. Hard to know. That. Uh, okay, then we need the red pass key. To safely board on level two. Which is fine. That does nothing. Nope, okay. Uh, it's still the yellow, because it's the same elevator. Duh. Use your head, Travis. Alright. Drop to level three. So we had to stop on level two for the red pass card, obviously. Well, this is as deep as the bomb went. It didn't didn't punch through level four. Exit. Same same power computer. Same downed robots. I do love that we can just destroy them while they're down. That's all of them, right? Yeah. Let's search those. Shotgun shells. Don't need those anymore. We've bid all our companions farewell. It's just, it would. It was too much of an ask to try and keep them alive when they insisted on running through the murder force fields. Like, I would have gritted my teeth and ground out the mutants, but trying to keep them out of the force fields was too much. And it just glitched dog meat into the ether anyway. He didn't even die, he just vanished from my game. In a weird, very annoying way. Got traps in here. And nothing of much use, it seems. Other side room over here. Let's have a look at this one. And nothing in here either.
There's the elevator, so let's go this way first. So this is as deep as the bomb could have gone. So there, the, the holes are gone, which I appreciate. Lockers! Stim packs! Praise be! Men tennis and buff out. Mentats and buff out. No need for those. Let's try the next one. Two more lockers. Big ammo, including small energy cells. Pay dirt. Onward. My girlfriend's bored on her plane. <laughs> so she's texting me. <laughs> okay. I have little doubt we're going to need the red pass card here. Let's do it. You know, there are at least six levels. Four and six. What, what, what happened to level five? Am I taking crazy pills? Three, four, six? More disabled robots. Let's just kill them while they're down. Killed. Missed? Well. I never. Killed. Killed. Pretty good free experience for killing all these jokers. Onward. Oh, there's another elevator there. I have a little doubt that'll take me to level 5. Lockers. Okay. Geiger counter. Why not? Rad away and rad X. Definitely useful. Ammo and grenades. Hooray. Open the other locker, please. Rockets. I believe that elevator will take me to level 5. Let's see what we got up here first. Got some stuff, man. What are these? Broken suspension tank. Some sort of medical or experimental apparatus. It looks as if it could contain a human or larger sized body. Mm-hmm. Well, I never. Check out the normal looking rooms first. Let's 
see nothing out of the ordinary. Really? Doesn't exactly look ordinary to me, but alright. If you say so. Oh man, come on. Okay, here's a body. Got a blue pass key. We'll need that, I'm sure. Okay, through here I see wall lockers. Let's go get the goodies. More suspension tanks. And a gurney, or a medical table, if you prefer. Right, let's check these lockers. Find some good loot in here. I have pretty much everything I need already at this point, but still, good stuff. Crowbar and an assault rifle. Skill books, tool, leather jacket. And what about here? What is this? Computer! Hey, alright. It's an extremely advanced computer. How may I be of assistance? Who or what are you? I am a machine intelligence dedicated to research and installation control. I am called Zax. What kind of research? I am specifically programmed for research into biological studies, including pathology and genetic research. My primary function is an extrapolation of information of complexity levels exceeding human capacity. What are the particulars of your research? My research into the forced evolution virus, or FEV, indicates that it is a shifting absorptive virus. It copies DNA patterns much like RNA, storing these patterns in exons. These exons, combined with the FEV, are re-injected into the host cells in typical viral infectious fashion. This causes the host cells to regenerate their DNA. How do you catch FEV? FEV is not caught, per se. It is not air transmittable. Typically, infection is through injection or direct physical contact with an FEV sample. Why isn't FEV affected by radiation? The FEV is a megavirus with a protein sheath reinforced by ionized hydrogen. It is therefore capable of absorbing neutrons without becoming radioactive. If the FEV reinfects the host with its assimilated viral patterns, how does it make a better specimen? The FEV is pre-programmed with introns of corrected DNA appropriate to the proper type of species. It therefore attempts to correct the DNA of the individual. However, as the FEV is partially reliant upon the DNA of the individual, and also includes portions of its own recursive code, the effects can be unpredictable. When inoculated into an individual with significant genetic damage, such as through radiation, it will cause the body's systems to suffer massive overhauling, leading to organ failure and death. In a genetically viable individual, it rewrites portions of DNA, causing accelerated mutation, usually leading to recursive growth due to the FEV's own patterns. This recursive growth leads to an increase in muscle and brain mass, but is often accompanied by disfigurement and damage to existing neural patterns, causing loss of memory. What potential long-term side effects exist? As the FEV causes constant regenerative update to DNA, it would effectively render the subject largely immortal, as cell death would be offset by augmented growth. Additionally, as the gametes of the reproductive system consist of half cells using split DNA that could be perceived as damaged by FEV, which would repair them, rendering the subject sterile. However, as my laboratory facilities are damaged beyond repair, this is conjectural. I cannot offer physical proof. You will have to, in human terms, take my word for it. Can we change the subject? How may I be of assistance? Tell me about this installation. West Tech Research Facility. Founded in 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government, the company initially consisted of two divisions, the Advanced Weapons Research and the Biomedical Sciences Divisions. In 2069, West Tech was the single largest contractor for the United States government, its largest contract being Powered Infantry Armor Model T-51B. In light of significant advances in 2076 by the NBC on the Pan Immunity Virion project, the United States Defense Department, in fear of international espionage, moved a T-51 
came onto the site to secure and oversee the project, now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. Can you tell me the particular can you tell me particulars about specific areas? My sensors are currently non-functional in the surface facility and on subterranean levels one through three. I can, however, provide descriptions of levels four through six. Level four. Level four, research facility. This level contains testing areas and laboratories for experiments in biology and physics. Tell me about level five. Level five, secure testing labs. This level contains a lab for experimental prototype testing and a research lab for classified subjects. These subjects provided some of the necessary impetus for the development of FEV. Tell me about level six. Level six, barracks and central operations. Contains living facilities for lab personnel and guard contingents and operations meeting room. Back up a bit. How may I be of assistance? Want to play a game of chess? I would be delighted. Excellent form. However, you will need additional practice to defeat me. Thanks. Can we change the subject? Grant me access to the mainframe. Access granted. Main menu. Select option. Base information. West Tech Research Facility. Okay. Main menu. Security information. Security. Security robots inactive. Research information. Research. Records most current records most current at West Tech Research Facility. Research Division Employees Records. Research Personnel Records. Robert Anderson, Research Assistant, Security Clearance Blue, stationed Mariposa Military Base. Nick Davis, Director of NBC Division of West Tech Research, Security Clearance Blue, stationed West Tech Research Facility. John Isaac, Research Assistant, Security Clearance Red, stationed West Tech Research Facility. Steve Remco, Research Assistant, Security Clearance Blue, stationed Mariposa Military Base. Charles Reinhold, Research Head of Laser Development, Security Clearance Blue, stationed West Tech Research Facility. Michelle Santos, Lab Technician, Security Clearance Red, stationed West Tech Research Facility. Aaron Shellman, Lab Technician, Security Clearance Blue, stationed Mariposa Military Base. Leon von Felden, Research Head of FEV, Security Clearance Blue, stationed Mariposa Military Base. I say... Download records to Pip-Boy. Power Armor Status Complete. Power Armor Specs. The T-51B Powered Infantry Armor is designed with the latest passive defense features for both civilian and military disturbances. The back-mounted TX-28 Microfusion Pack generates 60,000 watts to power the high-flow hydraulic systems built into the frame of the suit. Made of the latest polylaminate composite, the T-51B shell is lightweight and capable of absorbing over 2,500 joules of kinetic impact. The 10 micron silver ablative coating can reflect laser and radiation emissions without damage to the composite subsurface. Download records to Pip-Boy. FEV Force Evolutionary Virus Status Pending. FEV Summary Digest 2073. As China became increasingly aggressive with their use of biological weapons, the United States government felt that a countermeasure was needed. The Pan Immunity Virion Project, PVP, was officially formed September 15, 2073. 2075. It became clear that the best way to combat the newly created biological weapons was to alter uninfected DNA so that it was no longer susceptible to standard viral infection. 2076. Unforeseen side effects began surfacing in early 2076 with the PVP. Animal test subjects began showing an abnormal growth rate accompanied by increased brain activity. The U.S. government took notice of these discoveries, and in the interests of national security moved a team on-site to secure and oversee the project, which was now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. 2077. FEV nears completion. Test on, tests on lab animals are at a near 100% success rate. Size and muscle density increase approximately 60%. And the, pro and the potential intelligence increase by 200%, effects upon human subjects remain unknown. Although they are theoretically promising, the military, wishing to continue further testing, builds a large facility at the Mariposa Military Installation in Central California. At this new facility, testing of the FEV virus continues on volunteer subjects from the military. Download records to Pip-Boy. Main menu. Power terminus. Okay, exit. Exit mainframe. Ah, uh, never mind. I am delighted to have been of assistance. That was a lot. Alright, so... Look at my pit boy. So, FEV research. Okay, that's the same. 
power armor specs. That's the same. West Tech records, also the same. Groovy. All right. Onward. So I guess I'll go to level six first, because that's a lower security clearance, apparently. So let's go back to this elevator. Use the red pass card. <clears throat> Pop in to level six. Am I still at a hundred rad resist? I am. Excellent. Yeah, so this is the living quarters. Oh, hey. There's the elevator. Killed. Killed. Nothing. 10 millimeter pistol. Amazing. After all this time. Energy cells and stim pack. Don't mind if I do. Right away, don't mind if I do. Plasma pistol. Don't care. This looks like the power room. Might actually have to fight robots on level 5 if I turn the power on, but that's fine with me. I don't really care. Service needed. I repair the generator? Is that the idea? There you go. You start up the generators and all systems seem to be coming back online. A thousand experience. There we go. Reinitialize primary power. Hey! Looky there! Now we can see! You can even see the color codes on the elevators, huh? Neat. Alright, so... Let's use our blue pass card. Check out the final level, level 5. You gain a thousand experience points. Just for getting here. Amazing. But the robots are back online. That they are. Aim is blocked. Why well, never?
Y'all come on if you're coming. Some of them come to me. I dare say I did crush my enemies. Alright. Search the bots. Seven total, I believe. Ooh, that one had a sniper rifle. That weapon did right by me for a good chunk of the game. Alright, yes, 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 here we go. Obviously a lot here. It's the hardest level to get into. So they were testing the FEV here, presumably. Here's a locker. Let's raid it. Oh! Hollow disc! Teach me. FEV experiment tape. Log date, March 21st, 2075. Major Barnett has ordered experiments with batch 10011 of Pan Immunity Virion, which has been renamed FEV for Forced Evolutionary Virus. His main concern is with the side effects of the quad helix structure, rather than its main effect of replicative stability. He believes the new structure is the next logical step for mammalian nuclei. Experiments with single-celled organisms is a great success. While their basal metabolism appears unchanged, their immunity <coughs> excuse me <coughs> their immunity to infection and radiation is exceeding all earlier expectations. Addendum. Chloroplasts seem unaffected by the virion. Further experiments on plant cells have been cancelled by order of Major Barnett. Log date, May 9th, 2075. We infected several species of flatworm with FEV. Within hours, the worms had increased in size by 28% and 39 separate viral contagions were resisted by the population. Each sample was allowed to continue for several generations, and the new DNA structure was successfully passed on to the worm's progeny, although only asexual reproduction was noticed in the samples. Experiments with insects have had less success. Major Barnett has postponed these experiments until further notice. Log date, June 30th, 2075. Several lab strains of white mice have been infected successfully with FEV. Again, an increase in size was noted within hours, and after nine days, all mice had stabilized at 31% larger than the control group. Dissection revealed the most increase in size in striated muscle tissue and certain internal organs, such as the liver, heart, and kidneys. In a surprising finding, the infected mice were found to run mazes in less than half of the time of the control group. More testing will be needed to confirm this finding as significant. Log date, November 9th, 2075. We have infected 218 rabbits with FEV. Half of the subjects were implanted with electrodes to monitor EEG activity before and after the infection. Increased electrical activity in the brain was noted in 3.2 seconds on average after injection. Again, the typical size increase was noted. However, increased aggression and posturing, especially among males, was noted as well. Sacrifice and perfusion yielded brain tissue that showed increased dendritic connection, especially in the limbic system and frontal cortex. Log date, January 12, 2076. 
With batch 11-011, we have improved the mitotic cycle efficiency by 43%. We have infected 53 raccoons with the new strain. In addition to the now expected size increase, behavioral tests confirmed an increase in intelligence and manual dexterity by 19 points on the Schuler cap index. Unfortunately, several subjects escaped confinement and had to be hunted down and dispatched. Major Barnett ordered the remaining subjects terminated. Two pairs were unaccounted for. Log date, May 13th, 2076. We have spliced several new gene sequences supplied by Major Barnett's advisory team into FEV. With batch 11-101A, we infected 23 dogs of both pure and mixed breed, and all experienced nearly immediate growth. The larger size was accompanied with increased, ing with increased aggressiveness, while no significant intelligence increase was noted. We plan to attempt crossover of 92 allele pairs with batch 11-011. All subjects were terminated after 14 weeks of study. Log date, October 4th, 2076. The crossover has been completed and 15 chimpanzees were infected with batch 11-111. Growth and immunity levels are unprecedented. Attempts to induce cancers in the subjects through radiological and chemical agents were not successful. Increased aggressiveness have led to isolating the subjects. Two subjects suffered violent epileptic seizures and died. All remaining subjects terminated. Log date, January 7, 2077. Major Barnett has ordered transfer of all FEV research to the Mariposa military base. He plans to continue the project experiments on volunteer subjects. I am against this and would like it noted here that research on human subjects is not recommended by myself or my staff. Alright. Well, we saw how that went. Put the hollow disk back, I don't need it. This pure lore, my favorite thing. Rad resistance is still good. Alright. Just keep looking around. See what else there is. The answer in that room is nothing. Two lockers in here. Plasma rifle, microfusion cell, that's a yawn. <gasps> Look at all these wall lockers. Here, here's the loot loot jackpot. Gotta be. Laser pistol, 14mm pistol, 10mm pistol. Geiger counter, motion sensor, stealth boy. Small energy cells, yes please. Microfusion cells. Two assault rifles and a radio. Minigun. All the ammo and grenades. Another holotape. Get it. See what's on this one. Delta experiment tape? Yeah, this is it. The military has deemed it necessary for us to research further in depth the effects of wave technology upon living organisms. We have taken light and sound as the basis of our studies. By manipulating the amplitude of the light waves and magnifying the frequency, we have been able to get lasers which will cut through a few feet of steel. Unfortunately, the power to do such a task has not been fully developed. We have other scientists looking into this. Mm -hmm. well, I didn't really want to close it. Let's put it back. I don't want to lug it around needlessly. Let's check this locker. Almost done here. Guns and bullets, combat armor. Well, 
one last room and a couple of wall lockers to search inside it. <coughs> oh, look, another holotape. Let me try this one. Alpha experiment tape. Prototype Pan Immunity Virion project, in the hopes of countering the current bacteriological and viral agents employed by the Chinese government, we have manufactured a virus fragment consisting of ribonucleic acid, RNA, encased in a protein lipid sheath. This virion contains a specially arranged sequence of radiated amino acids, RAA, that are capable of attaching to non-specific binding sites on deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, and force a non-replicating mitosis to occur. The resulting host cell is left with a quadruple helix DNA structure. Early tests are promising. The virion easily penetrates the cell membrane and attaches directly to the host DNA in the nucleus. Mitosis of the structure begins almost immediately. Cytokinesis is prevented by controlling the disposition of the kinetochore fibers during anaphase. The entire mitotic cycle lasts approximately two hours, although phenotypical expression of the new structure may take days or weeks to become apparent. In addition to an effective immunity to bacterial and viral agents, the quad helix structure is almost entirely immune to errors introduced in base pairing during replication due to multiplicity of the base sequence. Radiation exposed tissue showed no mutation in the base sequence, and protein synthesis mechanisms in the ribosomes were unimpaired. Over 80% of the sample's tissue contained quad helix DNA. Most affected was muscle and bone tissue, as well as secretory cells, as these cells seem most receptive to virion. Sensory cells are the least affected. Surprisingly, even normally non-replicating nerve cells and non-somatic cells were induced to begin mitosis. Further experiments will be necessary to determine the results on these cells. All right, very interesting. All right, one last locker. Three stim packs. A rat, two rat away. I can put away the holotape. I can put away the blue security card. No, I can't. LOL. I'm an idiot. I need the blue card. I'm on level five. In my head, I was on level six. Alright, let's get out of here. I have conquered the glow. I'm more awesome than every other wastelander. I'm just facts at this point. <clears throat> Alright, blue card. Up to level four, please. Let's get out of here. Red card. Up to level three. And yellow card. I guess it's not making me use one now. Fascinating. Up to level one. Crater. Let's get up out of here. I'm gonna head back to the Brotherhood. Because what I want to do now, the easiest, quickest way to do it, Make sure these bodies don't have anything. 
kind of doubt it, but yeah, we'll see. Just to be sure. Uh, so I'm going to go the fastest way to get to level 21 now is to just run around the northwest corner of the map where all the big terrible monsters are. So I'm going to use the Brotherhood as kind of my starting point for those four A's. Get him! Tremendous mole rats are nosing about here. Tremendous, I say! So now I want the big, fat, random encounters with large numbers of mutants. Actually, I'm just going to head all the way back to the military base. And when I make it there, that is where we will end the video. More mole rats. They're a family. Come on, get back there. All right. Well, that took about an hour, longer than I usually want to go, but I wanted to get to the payoff of our deep dive into the glow. That is going to do it for this installment of Let's Play Fallout. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you will give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a comment. If you're interested, check out my Patreon and Discord. Those links are in the video description. But regardless, I really want to thank you for watching. I'm grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you very much. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.